What is up, everybody? So June has come and gone, but I am not letting another Pride Month go by without doing another Q&A with all of my friends because I really enjoy doing it. I love sitting down with my friends and answering questions from all of you on Twitter, but there are also a lot of things in gay culture and gay history that I and my friends don't know. We need to learn as well, so that is why this video is in the form of a game show. Q intro. <laughs> Back. I've got my host jacket here, and now we just need a name for this trivia show. How about, um, Yay and Stupid? That title sums me up pretty well, so. And now, all that we need for this game show are the contestants. This first contestant said that he would sleep with racially ambiguous Jesus at a house party. Please welcome Artie! Next up, this contestant would like to thank his grandmother for getting him to this point. She drove him here. Please welcome AJ! <laughs> This next contestant has binge watched over 200 TV shows, and yes, they have been keeping track. Please welcome Quill. This next contestant can whistle in seven different ways, the seventh of which is unsafe to do indoors. Give it up for Alex. And this contestant's favorite color is blue. Amy's in the building. <laughs> Ain't nothing left but to play, so let's play. I am Artie, he, him, AJ, he, him. Hi, I'm Quill, I use she, they, he pronouns. I'm Alex, he, him, your majesty. Avi. What are your pronouns? I don't have any. You're just an entity. Just an entity? You don't <laughs> oh my gosh. What's gonna happen is I'm going to ask some questions here that I don't know the answers to. Our format producer, Lauren, put them together. We're just gonna see how little of gay culture and gay history that we know. All right, we're gonna begin with a real easy one here, you guys. Ready? Uh, <laughs> What is the name of the artist that designed the original eight-colored rainbow pride flag that was popularized in San Francisco in 1978? Is it A, Gilbert Baker, B, Georgia O'Keeffe, C, Lex Barbirio, or D, Keith Haring? Apologies for mispronunciations. What do we got here? What did you do? Oh my gosh, D with a little man with a cowboy hat. I love that. <laughs> That's actually a portrait of the artist. It was A, Gilbert Baker. No, I panicked. <laughs> Fun fact, in 2015, the Museum of Modern Art ranked the rainbow flag as an internationally recognized symbol as important as the recycling symbol. Aww. I hope everybody here does recycle. I do. I love his little scarf. Are you guys seeing Should that? His little scarf. A queen. An absolute queen. Ugh. What's your advice to younger LGBTQ plus people who feel they may have came out too early or even missed their chance and it's too late? It's never too late. Yeah. I don't know what to that come means. out. Yeah. yeah I don't know what early. that means. Too early is an interesting one. I don't yeah. think. That I think that I can, there is a too early. I think that has I to do with the safety of your situation. Yes. Mm -hmm. Extremely do with the safety of your situation. Oh yeah. And then like I see what you're who saying. you're growing up around yeah. and who you know is gonna accept you and who's going to be behind you in that. So for people who may have felt like they have come out too early, do you feel like there is anything that can be done to keep them safe in the meantime? Look for and reach out to LGBT uh, Q centers oh, or like yeah. support groups or just like find any like community that you can find whether it's in person or online or online the more yeah. people that you have behind you the easier uh, then the more like resources you have access to like the easier it'll be to like deal with the people that aren't accepting yeah. it's really fine your chosen family like your take on it <laughs> that it's a safety issue that's what coming out to oh, really yeah. might mean yeah. I was taking it to mean like I came out to everyone with one identity, but I don't feel That's like you know too. in line That's with that true. identity anymore. And like, there's nothing wrong with that. Like, yeah. we're constantly evolving people that are just like, try, you know, those words are specific to every single person that uses them. Yeah. And I've, I've worn all kinds of hats. I've used all kinds of labels that felt appropriate at the time or communicated communicating what I wanted to communicate at that time, yeah. and then they, you know, change later. So like, there's nothing wrong with totally that. Totally in this boat where coming out is overrated. Yeah. And Thomas, you've said you it before. You don't have to come out. Yeah. yeah. It is, you just do what you want to do, be who you want to be. You said it before that you never stop coming out, which is true. So yeah. If, yeah. if you start, you're never you're gonna, gonna stop. stop. Yeah, but no. if you want to tell people dope, if you don't want to tell people, it's none of their business. I didn't know if I was ready to come out to the internet. Mm -hmm. sure. But, and then when I did, I came, I made it like very conversational. I did 
didn't do a whole video. Maybe I should have because people still speculate whether or not I'm gay or not <laughs> on TikTok. And I'm like, holy schmazoli, it's been years now. Late to the party. But as far as come, too late to come out, there's I don't think there's ever a too late Never to too come late. out. You may personally feel like, oh, I sh should have come out ages ago and maybe, but I don't think there's ever, it's ever too late to like. Try subscribing to just not coming out. <laughs> yeah. You're just like, I am who I am. Yeah, try He's subscribing to that. It, it, so much pressure, relieved. Really. Uh-oh, another trivia question. Here we go. Oh, oh geez. Ooh, ooh, there is not a multiple choice on this one, oh, everyone. No. Oh, no. It's not a multiple. We are in right. deep waters we right now. All right. This. The green carnation has been used as a symbol for the LGBTQ plus community, particularly gay men, since the 1890s. What? Playwright and poet has often been credited with popularizing the symbol. I hate it. I got this. Hold them up. We got Shakespeare, Oscar Wilde, Oscar Wilde, B, and I don't know, lol. Uh, let's go to the answer. The answer is Oscar Wilde. He's most known for uh, the picture of Dorian Gray, which is exactly yeah. what I was going to write before I remembered his name. I was going to be like the guy who wrote Dor the picture of Dorian Gray. <laughs> you know what? I thought that was a, um, I thought those were sausages. So I was like, <laughs> Oscar Wilde sausages. Oscar Wilde. Oh, oh, thank you. Oscar I was so scared. No, so I was like, that's I so funny. I was like, since I don't know, Oscar I don't want to. Wait, is that a sausage? <laughs> what were the names of the gay chin strap penguins already? I feel like that's already what you would call a gay penguin, a chin strap penguin. Gay it's chin like slur. Yeah, what, what? Sounds like a slur. It does kind of sound like a I take it back. Chin strap. I take it back. Yeah. Chin strap penguin. Okay, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. All right, question. What were the names of the gay chin strap penguins in New York City's Central Park Zoo that went on to hatch slash raise an egg together? Oh. All right, you got A, Roy and Silo. That's, that's pretty gay. B, Rocky and Marama. That's fun. C, Sven and Magic. I love this. Or D, none of the above. Queer animals don't exist. Well, that's a lie. That's a lie. I'm gonna just answer which one I want this one to be. Oh man, it is split between B and C. Incorrect, it was oh. Roy and Silo. Nobody, Nobody got that eight. right. We do not know our gay penguins. Wish that queer cooler. card has been revoked. There's a book in 2005, <laughs> Simon and Schuster published a children's book based oh, on their ew. story and the chick they raised, which was named oh. Tango. Oh. That's a great name. That is a reason to smile. Oh my god, 2005 this book came out. Wow. A children's book came out. That's Wait, wild. Oh, oh they're wow. so oh cute. God. It's real. Yeah, they're they're baby. Baby. Stupid squishy. Oh no! Silo and Roy have split up. No! What? No! We were rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. <laughs> they got a kid to try and keep it together and not have oh, that. No. Oh no! Oh no! All right, that was a ride. <laughs> We've got a, a picture question. What group in the LGBTQ plus community? Does this symbol represent? My first thought was lesbians. I have no idea why. Oh, okay. All right, AJ. Um, I genuinely have no clue. I also didn't know. I said Prince. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah, that's yeah. probably the answer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm going to guess pansexual. Great. Me too. That makes what a lot of sense. You put, also oh, pants. pants. Okay. The answer is pansexual oh, community. Oh, I'm such that's a bad cool. pan. Look at me go. Oh, yes. Pan representation. Well, that's okay now. You have a symbol. That's true. Well, I'm going to get it tattooed right here. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> Another question coming in from Twitter. Well, did you all ever project onto any characters as a kid slash teen thinking they were queer in some form too? In place of that, I just projected onto femininity mm. in general. It was like, okay, totally spies. You guys have you guys you guys have a different outfit every episode. You guys are you guys are serious. SpongeBob was also yeah. so gay in my mind. SpongeBob is so gay. SpongeBob, so gay. very so gay. Um, I love Pepperan is gay as hell. Pepperan. Yes. See now, I was on Tumblr as a kid, mm -hmm. and so I was part okay, of the Super Bullock fandom. Oh. And that, that is really the apex of projecting <laughs> yeah. gayness onto onto people. Yes. We later did super confirm Lockians. the the super. Supernatural couple. They did later confirm that. And it's it's terrible. 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 It's terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. The craziest ones for me were Teen Wolf and BBC's Merlin. 
BBC's Merlin was almost explicitly gay. They never said oh, it. It yeah. was like the most queer baiting thing I've ever seen in my Whoa. life. They were like, they would get like within an inch of each other and be like, I would die for you. Uh, Sherlock. Also yeah, Sherlock. Sherlock absolutely. Was, oh, I mean, Sherlock. They, I think he just about said it. Mor Mor Moriarty? Moriarty. Yeah. Moriarty. Oh, Moriarty. Oh my gosh. Gay as hell though. Quill, I think you and I recently projected onto the two main <gasps> characters from Infinity Train. Okay, but tell me how those boys were not gay. <laughs> tell me how. I yeah. finished the show. I said they're not gay. Yeah. Those are straight men. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> She-Ra delivered. She-Ra she she is, a, if anybody wants to check out, so really good. Cora, oh, Cora, 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 Cora didn't deliver until, Cora, until, 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 until they waited so long. They waited too long to deliver. Well, the writers long. only could do what they could because yeah. Nickelodeon was yeah. shutting down everything that the yeah. writers of Cora wanted to do. Yeah. If anybody's checked out Mitchell's versus the Machines, there's really cool casual representation. So really cool, okay. I, but I would like to see more overt. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. yeah, I mean, the question was like, who did you project, project. onto that wasn't, I mean, that, that, wasn't, that, that it wasn't canon. Yeah. 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 I've seen a really good one I'm recently. I'm trying to think of somebody too. Which was, I saw somebody say the other day on Twitter that all of the Belcher children in Bob's Burgers are trans. That's, oh my God. <laughs> I don't know, Louise is non-binary, Jean is gender fluid, and Tr Tina is a trans girl. And I am with that. I stand I am it. So I do it. stand it. I tend to go with the Mark Hamill <clears throat> response, which was, uh, if you wanted Luke to be gay, he's gay. Exactly. Yes. This is another one from Twitter. How do I deal with being misgendered and dead named with relatives that don't know I'm trans? And how do I explain to them that I'm non-binary? Mm. And how can I tell if it'd be a bad idea to tell them? Well, so you're this, just gonna have to fight them. <laughs> Physically. Take, take them out. Take yeah, some yeah. MMA classes. Yes. I'm just kidding. That's what I did. <laughs> Look, that's exactly what I did. Yeah, so it's how do I deal with being misgendered and dead okay. with relatives that don't know that they're trans. That don't know Very their hard parents. because you do have to take first that understanding that they don't know. Um, until you tell them, I suppose. What can yeah. you, yeah. I guess the okay. way to deal with that is internal. If you're not going to tell them, the way to deal with it is internal. Yeah. And then you just have to remind yourself that they don't know. And so they, they can't call you the right thing until they do. And just remember that just because they're calling you something doesn't mean that that's who you are. Yeah. We kind of talked about it earlier about how like having a support like group outside of your family, you know, that like does it see you, family. you know, yeah, call you, but yeah, what you want yeah. to be called and sees you for who you are. Yeah. Um, that's really important. It's going to make, Everyone it'll make it valid. easier. It'll, yeah. make it'll, it'll help easier. you feel valid. Honestly. It doesn't, um, it doesn't for sure. hurt as much. Yeah. When, when someone calls you what you want to be called, someone expresses it to you and someone loves you enough to do that, it makes yeah. you feel valid. And that's all I that's um, all we want. I had to like, you know, evaluate like who should I, who in my family should I tell? Like who needs to know this kind of thing? And I'm just not super duper close with a lot of my extended family, you know, mm -hmm. um, in the first place. So I have like not officially come out to a lot of my family. Mm -hmm. What did they think? They know. Okay. And now, I mean, they've coming coming spoken to my about it or like they've yeah. they like figured it out or like just, you yeah, know, they, just... they know now, but they just like, there was no like, conversation Official. because yeah. I don't really talk to them anyway. Like I see them sometimes and it's just like, oh, hey, what's up, you know? Yeah. Right. And it's so brief that it just doesn't We come back to coming out as stupid and you yeah. don't have to do it. Right, like, <laughs> it's not, I mean, it's what you make but of it, right? It really so is. If it's important to you, then by all means do yes. it. But like, you don't have to and look at that. But it's right. like, you don't have to think about it as coming out though. You're just but, telling someone something. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, I would say like to answer this question more directly, I would say that if you're trying to figure out who in your family you should or shouldn't tell, like figure out like who you're closest with because like the extended family, the people that you don't ever see, like, oh, you know, like, it's like, who? Yeah. yeah. That, that's like, so after yeah. the fact, like you can deal with that. You can never deal with that. Yeah, yeah. honestly, yeah. Yeah. But you know, the people that you spend the most time around or whatever, like I would start evaluating first, you know, do they express a whole lot of super like, <laughs> like queer phobic do? things? Like, yeah. like do yeah. you know, or right. not? Like, because I mean, I still understand the anxiety either way. Like my parents are not super religious. They're not super like queer phobic or anything. Like they never really like sat around talking about, I don't know, like making fun of gay people. Stuff, yeah. But I was yeah. still nervous to, you know, say Same. something. That makes sense to have like the people who do understand you help balance it's it really out. It's really important. Having yeah. a it's good really mental health. I think that, that helps too with, with when you need to keep your boundaries with people who don't quite get it. Yeah. It's like having people, when I was changing my name, when I had people in my life that that did acknowledge that that was my name, when I was around like my family or people who were still learning and not quite getting it, and they would be like, well, I just knew you as this other thing for so long. I'm like, well, they get it. 
Yeah. Those guys get it. Yeah. So yeah. I feel like you can you can get with the program if they can get with the program. Mm. For me, there's a certain point where like the testosterone did a lot. <laughs> you know, <laughs> sure. at a certain point, anyone's <clears throat> calling me she or calling me like anything feminine, which is like they said, everyone's like. You talking about that dude right there? Like, yeah, that's really like, like that guy? Like what? That kind of goes with this, which the second question was how do I explain to them that I'm non-binary? Mm. I would say first you you want to make sure that they're worth taking yeah. that time to explain. Like yeah, are they gonna be receptive that. to that? Yeah. But yeah, I mean I'm sure there is a lot of material and also that they can educate themselves mm. to that mm. as well if they are willing to 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 learn. The last part of the question of like how can I tell if it'd be a bad idea to, to tell them? That's tough, because I feel like that's on a personal, yeah, it is. individual it's, basis. It's who you're talking to. Each and every individual person yeah. is it's a different risk level. You can take your time. There's no pressure to tell anybody that, Find your that information. Queer, like, you have, like, a lot of people have queer, like, uh family members, find those first. Uh, yeah, get their advice, yeah. Yeah, find those first. My best one is, is actually is with my grandma, who didn't actually drive me here. Um, <laughs> she, I, 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 I told her that I was, uh, Bisexual, which I, I say by I'm I'm into every everybody. I I just like the color on the flags, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> it has the be, it I has the best that. aesthetic. I like means it. attraction to your, your own mind. gender or otherwise or otherwise. Uh, but yeah, no, I told my grandma and she was just like, AJ, did I love you five minutes ago? Yeah, grandma's are so good. Do I love you now? I'm like, yeah, and then gave me a hug, oh, it was great. Honestly, the, I think the funniest one for me is I, I came up to my dad and so it came up in uh, political discourse. I was talking about how um, under the Trump administration, safeties for queer people were, were pushed back. And um, he's like, well, why do you care so much? And I was like, oh, baby, because <laughs> I'm gay. <laughs> Listen, my mom is uh, first generation Russian and she's, grew up in Soviet Russia, wow, yeah. where gay people weren't real. They were like, I mean, they were real, but it's like, they like, oh, we're all in hiding. She just like literally didn't even like, was like, I don't even know what this is, you know? She's like, okay, sure you are, kid. You know, like, great. Like 10 years later, I guess, is trans. Mm -hmm. And that was a little bit more, that was a much bigger deal. Mostly I like did it by text. Like I sent my parents an actual letter and I mm. oh, wow. Uh, wow. like just messaged a lot of like my closest friends. It was terrible. I was in the I, hospital and my and mom like took my phone. I went to go get an x-ray and she took my phone and I came back and she's like, oh, you like, you're gay, you like <sighs> girls? And I was like, uh -huh. no. <laughs> no. So you no, wasn't even no. in your control. <clears throat> no, it was terrible. Oh, yeah. oh that oh, sucks. Wow. And then like a, two, a year later or two, I went, like I was being rebellious after that. Like that's just, it just got worse. And like, I went and cut like my hair, got the bowl cut. <laughs> and, like, I came home, my granddad was like, I know what haircut you got. Like, I just already know. They didn't care. They didn't care. But my mom was like, it was she, like, like it out. She, her mom's really because like, you know sneaky. we're gay. Like, yeah. come on, come on. It's very <laughs> It's just so exhausting. Like, it's like, it's like why are you pretending I'm not gay? Yeah. Why do I have to come out to you? Yeah. Right. Yeah. How did marching band and theater not tell you? Not everyone is clockable, but like, if this was how you were acting when you were 15, like, what? I feel like it would have been. Not act like this. I you know? did. Yeah. You okay? Actually, like, you big girlfriend and everything, guys. You she would fight tooth and nail about how straight I was. And it was so endearing, thank you. You came out over text? Came out over text right after you came out because you came out and I was like, Ooh. I didn't come I out like, on purpose. Though. Not to be outdone. <laughs> like, that's crazy. You know, I, I came out on purpose because you came out. And I was like, that, I'm not letting you do that alone. I love I, 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 you. You're not abuse you about being gay if mm. I'm a whole homosexual over here in the corner. No. Um, so I came out over text. I was walking home from the bus. I was minding my business. And, I was, and then I just, <laughs> she gave me a phone call. It's already yelling at me and I was like, <laughs> That's really this sweet. Crying. That's really so sweet. I walked my grandmother's house and she, grandma's. Grandma's. It's between you and God, and I'll always love you. And I was like, wow. That's. It's so important to have that one safe person. Yes. Though. So it's like it's so nice. It, it, it oh really gosh. completely validated me in that yeah. moment. I was like, oh, this is all over. None of you matter. All this all, this is the only that. person I need to accept me. One of my best friends, Lysedric Stevenson. It's like hyper masculinity all over the place. Mm -hmm. All. All the freaking uh, suburban white kids in Denver were just like very intimidated by this man. Anytime anyone would like it up or like say the wrong thing, be like, oh, he just like lean and be like, that's a dude. 
And they'd be like, you're not the real one. Cedric motherfucking Stevenson. You're the big one in the room. Do that. I came out on video over Facebook in which I stepped out of a closet and went, well, been in there long enough. My my dad was a very simple man and he put things a very, like, he, he, he was great. I go, I'm, I'm, dad, I'm bi. And he went, wait, ACDC? And I went, yeah, yeah, ACDC. This is about as close as I think he's gonna get it. <laughs> so he got it. He was gonna be like, oh wait, you work for multiple channels? I work for multiple, yeah, yeah, no, you get it. <laughs> what does each color on the original eight colored pride flag represent? Wow. A, mm, I'm thinking six. sex, life, healing, sunlight, nature, magic and art, serenity, spirit. B, sex, rage, healing, liberation, growth, spirit, serenity, death. C, Lady Gaga, Ma Rainey, Elton John, Little Richard, Janiceian, Grace Jones, Village People, Freddie Mercury. Or D, none of the above, they don't mean anything. This is unfair. I'm vibing so hard with C. C is fun. C is the right one. Is ready? Everyone's ready? Yeah. Yeah. Here go. We got, we got A, B's, lots of A's and B's. Let's go, I'm gonna click A, let's see if it's A. It is A! a. Sex, one. life, yeah. healing, sunlight, nature, magic and art, serenity, spirit. So now, Who made so this? The, it was Gilbert <laughs> Baker. <laughs> that was the first question. It's just so funny to me. Like the best one. They took out, out magic. magic. Magic and art. They took out, took out magic. 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 <laughs> it's the gayest part of the whole fun. Magic. Put it back in there. <laughs> now we take out sunlight. Sex, magic, 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 magic. Art. If you're gay, you are indoors. <laughs> I don't need sun, I have magic. Why is I that on my flag? What flower has often been associated with queer women? Hint, it's also a color. Uh, periwinkle, I love that. Violet, 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 and you got rose, good, and I put lavender. Oh. oh. Do you know what lavender looks like? Purple. No, I don't know what lavender looks That's like. That's apparent, I think. Oh. There's like no oh. reason it would be associated <laughs> with a female. Oh. Uh, listen, real answer is the, the violet. violet. Yes. Violet, you're turning violet. It has the clitoris. It's got it everything. Does. It's got it's inner labia, a outer labia, there's like a, a literal vagina. It's beautiful. You know, what LGBTQ plus activist is often credited with throwing the brick that ignited the Stonewall riots, despite their denial yeah. that they started the uprising yeah. against police? Yeah. Is it Gilbert, Gilbert again? So yeah, Gilbert. 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 He threw that brick. He was doing all sorts of things. A. Marsha P. Johnson. B. Sylvia Rivera. C. Audra Lord. Or D, Bayard Rustin. Uh, we got a bunch of A's and yeah. Marsha P. Johnson A. She yeah. said she didn't. She said she was like, I wasn't there till two. <laughs> <laughs> no one actually knows who it was. It was the only confirmation, the most information that we know is that it was actually a butch black woman. The Stonewall Inn was a like gay bar in New York City, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. and, Greenwich Village. And Greenwich Village. And so um, the cops, as they were wont to do, regularly came in and busted up the bar because, because it was illegal to be uh, because yeah. it was illegal to congregate as gay people. Mm -hmm. um, and at that that day, um, the queer community decided they had had enough and they weren't going to take it anymore. And they started a riot and fought back against the police. Mm -hmm. And it lasted for several days and turned into the entire ass like Very modern right. liberation. Movement. It changes. Some say a brick, it's and some myth. say it's a shot glass, yeah. and something. But it's like it's more like symbolic than everything. That like someone you know from like challenge, the, the, yeah, like challenge, like through the first like thing that turned like like set off the rest of the riot. But mm -hmm. it's actually the butch uh, black woman was like being arrested, mm -hmm. oh. and and was like why like screaming to like yeah like what why are you all just why standing there? Why don't you do something? Or you like she was like inciting it. So it might not even have been wow. You know, maybe it was a dirty look that was a dirty. metaphorical a metaphorical brick. Brick. So it breaks the metaphor. It was just like the tipping point of like the spark that lit the fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's I like the mythology surrounding yeah. this event. Yeah. That is so interesting. The, the Stonewall right, that's what Pride mm -hmm. um, like that's parades. Pride that's from. what it's celebrating is that gotcha. that event right. specifically. Yeah. Be gay to crime, 1969. When did you know if it was safe to come out? Did you feel like it was safe? Yeah. No. 
Yeah, he, yeah. He I don't had, think you ever start feeling. It out. was out of your control, though, a little I bit. Feel like, yeah, but I feel like it's never really safe to come out. One way of knowing it's safe is that you're independent. independent. Like if, yes, if yes, things really, if worse came to worse, you would you be able yourself. to take care of yourself? Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. That's I, a safety thing. I think that's a big thing. What city added black and brown to the traditional rainbow-colored pride flag? A. Los Angeles. B, San Francisco, C, Philadelphia, or D, New York. Lock in your answers now. Oh, C, D, (laughs) oh, C. Let's see who's right, let's go. Let's Let's see. It's correct, it's C, Philadelphia. True or false, in 1994, HIV infection was the leading cause of death and accounted for 19% of deaths among Americans aged 25 to 44 years across all genders, race, and sexual orientation. Hands up for true? Yeah. I would like to take this opportunity to say, I hate Ronald Reagan and I'm glad he's dead. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hate your local Ronald Reagan. Today. Hate your local Ronald Reagan today. Uh, in a positive uh, note though, with the new style of vaccine that just came out for COVID, the mRNA vaccine, that has shown a lot of promise in vaccinations for HIV. Yes. So mm-hmm. it's it's huge, like groundbreaking shit. So yeah, they just made a huge leap in HIV vaccine Something research. good came out of that. Yeah. True or false, another true or false question. Although statistics on the percentage of homeless youth in the United States varies, many studies show that only 10% of homeless youth are from the LGBTQ plus community. Raise your hand for true. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna raise your hand for false. It is okay, false. Yeah. Yeah. It's about 20 to 40 yeah. percent. Yeah. That is almost half. It is disproportionate and yeah. it is alarming and it's potentially probably because of bad home life. That's, Whenever I was in homeless high. youth, that is I saw other homeless, there were plenty of other homeless queer youths. There's a lot of us. Yeah. Multiple it's a, different reasons. It, but there's a lot of people now who are like, why are you celebrating? It's done. You're done. You've got your rights. Right. And it's just like, well, clearly not because there's this, still this horrible stigma mm-hmm. that is perpetuated by a lot of communities in the U.S. Just because you don't see it doesn't mean it's not there. Uh, another Twitter question. How can you celebrate pride while you're in the closet? Fun fun ways to celebrate while in the online closet. Friends. I was going to say, yeah. online's probably a really good way to do it. I don't know, watch a gay movie. (laughs) Fill your oats, sis. Like, be in that bedroom and be like, tonight I'm putting on the makeup. Yeah, lock the door. Feel your, Mm -hmm. feel feel it all, feel your fantasy. Feel your deepest fantasy in that moment. That's what you give to yourself. I love that. Self-love. I would say, do do some personal research in gay culture. Something similar to what we're doing right now. Educating ourselves. Learning about your community. Learning about the community, donating to organizations that could help. LGBTQ youth or other LGBTQ organizations support your local queer shops. Support your uh, out queer friends. Yeah. There you go. Vote if you're able to vote. Yeah. Vote in your local elections. Local yeah. elections. Yeah. What acronym is often used for the AIDS Coalition to unleash power? Hint. This is the same real life grassroots political group Billy Porter's character Pray Tell joins in the show Pose. Act up. Cap. Oh. Oh, <laughs> it also works for my hands, I guess. So the, the fact in this is in 1989, Act Up members infiltrated the New York Stock Exchange and chained themselves to the VIP balcony with the sign that read, Sell Welcome. This referred to the pharmaceutical sponsor of AZT Burroughs Welcome, which had set a price of approximately $10,000 per patient per year for the drug per year. That dude. Several days after the protest, Burroughs Welcome lowered the price of AZT yeah. to a more affordable price $6,400 per patient oh, per no, year. Well, that's well, not I would like pharmaceutical to companies. Take this opportunity to say Big Pharma. They yeah. are. Big Pharma, Evil. we hate Big Pharma. They've cured two people, they, mm-hmm. they cured them, and it was something that had never been done before, has now been done twice. Um, and now with the mRNA vaccine, they're so much closer to a vaccine for yeah. HIV, which would be huge. That would be f- phenomenal. Which is still also why it's important to get tested yes. regularly. Get tested right. regularly. regularly. To make sure, yeah, just check on your status, it's important. A lot of places have free HIV screening. To close out the video, I have told everybody to go and look at one question from Twitter that they would like to answer. What do you think about straight actors playing queer characters and or queer actors playing straight roles? 
if any at all you can involve any queer person in your art, I think that's exceptional. Yeah. So to play a queer role, especially, I think is nice or any straight rules at that, just having queer people in Hollywood is cool. We need to get to that place where we've reached an equilibrium yeah. where like gay actors are getting the same kind of like A, representation and B, opportunities. Any tips on trying to come out as polyamorous? Lots of people have no idea what that means, which makes it tricky. The way I've done it sometimes is the way that Thomas handled coming out is literally just like, oh, I'm just doing this. Like I'm just <laughs> the coming out culture, <laughs> the whole thing. Yeah. I'm just am. Um, like whenever it came to trying to do this with my family, since I went through the whole thing of like coming out as, as, as being bi, and this one was literally like, oh, so I'm doing this now. And essentially it was like, all right. Wow. That seems like you're able to handle it. Um, I think one thing that um, can get very frustrating is whenever you talk about it and people are like, oh, I could never. And oh, oh, well, I, I just couldn't do that type of thing. Like that gets really frustrating and annoying. Um, and understand at times it's people coming from an entirely different mindset than you. Yeah. But also like, yo, those people that are saying that get, get your together. Like if I, if I'm like, oh man, I really like being bi and a person's like, I could never get a job. It's really hard to like get it through to people because sometimes poly comes in so many different, everything's a spectrum. Like poly comes in such different varieties to where sometimes you have a primary person and sometimes you just feel how you feel about everybody and you just date multiple people and all that. No matter what, <laughs> whenever it comes to being poly, communication. Yeah. No matter kiss, what, you have to talk everyone. about <laughs> everything. We love them. And also, uh, wear, wear protection, please. It says, what does gender dysphoria feel like? I've questioned my gender more than a few times, but I've always written it off as me adding a layer of complication to an already complicated situation, mm. which is being a closeted gay kid in a conservative family. It's hard mm. Could you help me? Disclaimer, every person's experience is totally different, so I can only speak to my own experiences. Um, especially like, so yeah, for me the dysphoria is like harder to pin down and sort of like be like, it's this or it's that. Um, the gender euphoria is what was like very confirming for me. Just like sort of accepted that like my certain parts of my body are the way that they are and like just is what it is. There's no point in me like sitting around hating it, but I'm not like thrilled about it either. So I just kind of just like ignored it, but it wasn't like this like intense, like I didn't like sit around crying about the fact that my body wasn't a certain way kind of a thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was just like, I was whatever. Yeah, and like my dysphoria honestly is more about like the fact that I'm like small. I always felt like, I'm like, I'm not tough. I'm not like intimidating yeah. at all. I'm just like a little skinny, tiny, like, you know, like a chihuahua, <laughs> you know? Like, what am I ever gonna do? Like, I don't know, I couldn't take up as much space, you know, that I had to like fight extra hard to be like, take up the same amount of space. And like my strength and like my size was a lot more like dis, you know, things that I like was, you know, wished I could change, I guess. Mm -hmm. More than other like, you know, what you would think of, I guess, <laughs> gender dysphoria is supposed to be like. And it wasn't until I watched this documentary, it's called uh, Trans Generation? The Trans Generation. The How trans, trans kids and their parents are creating a gender revolution. There we go, that's yeah. cool. It follows, so it follows two trans women, two trans men. And one of the trans men had like, like basically had just come out to everyone and was like looking into getting like on a hormone, getting testosterone. And watching that like made me supremely uncomfortable. Like this is bothering me so much. And I was like, it's because it's like this part of me that I had like tucked far, far away and no one was supposed to know about and someone was just like jabbing it. I was like, like stop, like no one's supposed to know about that. <laughs> like, like, um, That's so interesting. Just, you know, and I was like, I have to like explore this, you know, further. And then like, as I was watching the show and he's like talking about, I want to be on hormones and this is what they do. And I was like, you can do that? Like, whoa, whoa, hold on a second you're telling me that if i get this like medication that i will grow a beard my voice will lower i'll have muscles like sign me up <laughs> How did or do you come out to a religious family? Curious because my family is super religious and I'm closeted. Well, again, it is first and foremost important to just come out when you're safe. Um, and if you feel like your parents are not in that place to be able to do that, please, for the love of God, just stay in the closet to be safe. Um, but I mean, if you really, if you're at an age that you would like to discuss it, or if you would like to at least feel assured with it in your in your mind, 
when going in uh, with family that might be arguing against this. I personally believe that if God created you, I don't know why God would create something that he does not agree with. If he made you, he made you in his image and he made you exactly the way that you're supposed to be. He doesn't make mistakes. And I just don't see the point in creating something that he wouldn't agree with. Amen. Uh, scientifically, it is not a choice thing. Uh, they've definitely gotten to that, so I you can't help promise, being who you are. Yes. You know, yeah, I it's promise. It is not a choice. I, you wouldn't pick the most. Oh, like, why would any of us sit in your <laughs> inches? So yeah, again, uh, that goes all the way back to just you words. believing in you. And if they argue with you in that regard, please have that in your in your backlog, just knowing who you are. Honestly, that's the thing that has helped me, and I hope that it would help you and anybody that you're potentially you're potentially arguing with. But if your parents do not accept you, you gotta accept you. They will get with the picture eventually. What would your younger Alice's hat by default self think of you now? Oh. I would think I was awesome, straight up. I, <laughs> I tweeted that the other day. I just got to a point where I was like, this is everything I wanted. <laughs> like I've, I've gotten everything I thought that I was gonna, or that I, that I wanted for myself when I was younger mm -hmm. uh, and everything else is gravy. I can look back on, on the times where it was really hard because I wasn't there. Um, and I wanna say to anybody that's still in that position right now, keep going yeah. because it's gonna, it's, I know they say it gets ooh. better, but dude, it gets so much better. I yeah. promise, yeah, I promise, does. I promise. Yeah. I think I'd be the best kind of scared of me. Yeah, I, yeah, I would definitely, I'd be pumped. <laughs> Young me would be so f***ed up right now. Yeah. Like, Living the dream, be like, baby. I, they would be like, what the f***? I How the f*** was it? I face. I knew it was a face. <laughs> I am yeah. the <laughs> That's hilarious. That's like, I am it. queer. I am actually queer oh, and this is cute as f Dude. My younger self would have just been blown away that this would have even been a possibility. Oh, yeah. Man. Just to be able to live like this, just the way that I was, how in the closet that I was and how much I hated what I was. I, I'd be completely mind blown that this is some, this would be a point that I could get to mentally mm. um, and be happy and, be, and surround myself with people that I love and that love me for who I am. Has the LGBTQ community taught you things about general life or yourself that you never knew? I, uh, yes. I mean, I've learned a lot growing up being me, yeah. but today I have specifically learned a lot. I, I really appreciate this. I oh my gosh. Yeah, right? Likewise. Likewise. <laughs> Thank you all so much for joining <laughs> Gay and Stupid! <laughs> Yeah. I mean, we, we weren't that stupid. We're definitely not as stupid as when we started. That's right. We learned. Gay and and smart. smarter. Smarter. Yeah. I hope that this helped at all. I, I love spaces yeah. like this too. Yeah. I love meeting you too. Let's, let's yeah. hang out. It was good meeting. Yeah. It was, it was, <laughs> this, was, this is actually all our kind of <laughs> swag. I love you all. This is the best <laughs> dynamic <laughs> ever. Yeah. Thank you to Artie, AJ, Quill, Alex, and Avi. And if you were interested in any of my previous videos, you can click over here. And if you're new to the channel and would like to subscribe, click down here. That is it. And until next time, take it easy, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Peace, Peace out. out! Happy Pride, everybody! Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes. 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 we're all talking. Oh my gosh, freeze frame. <laughs>